Hey you guys, okay, it's me Kiana coming at you today and I'm coming at you with a really quick and easy recipe that is great for the summer. Actually, it's great for all times of the year. But being that we are in the spring versus, well, spring transferring into the summer um, season, this is a great recipe, not only for your own home, but also for when you're doing get-togethers and things like that. And as all my recipes, they are going to save you some money. So you're going to be able to cut the cost and serve really great items. Now, when you're talking about seafood salad, and when you're talking about it from buying it from your, like, your deli section in your local food market, you're looking at, per pound, about 7 or $8. Well, I'm going to show you how you can make a huge mixing bowl full of this for about $8. Okay, so you're getting more bang for your buck, and you're also being able to, um, you're also being able to uh, know what's actually in the product or in the salad itself. And you can tweak it to whatever you like. So if you like certain kind of vegetables and all that, then you can you can add that. All right. So the thing is that you're going to need, of course, you're going to need some imitation crab meat now. Um, with the seafood salad, you usually want to use the imitation crab meat, not because you're being cheap, but because it just is the traditional way of fixing crab salad. Okay, um, I got this for six dollars and twenty-eight cent, and it's a big old package, as you can see. Um, this is almost three pounds. Okay, so this is a great value. Again, while we're going along check out the prices of what I'm showing you and how much I'm showing you as far as the pound because when you're dealing with crab salad out of your deli you're paying about eight dollars per pound we're gonna make approximately about three and a half pounds of crab salad and we're gonna spend eight dollars meaning that you're basically getting like a, a bargain because you're getting three pounds versus one pound an extra two pounds so this is be great for like a cookout or get together so you're gonna need your imitation crab meat you're going to need salary. Now, depending on how much you're fixing and how much people like that salary taste, I'm only using one stalk. Why? Because Daddy really does not eat salary. And this is specifically really for him because this is something that he's had a craving for. So, um, because he doesn't like salary, okay, whatever, a chuck. Anyway, because he doesn't like it, you know, he is, I'm going to go use one stalk. All right? You're going to need also Obey. Now, this is not just a Maryland thing. This is a good cook thing. If you do not use Obey in your salads, I'm sorry, I don't understand why you are eating that bland salad because it is bland. Salt does not give flavor, okay? It's, it does give flavor, but that's not the only thing that you use, and it does not give it a uh, great salad taste, okay? Obey does the trick, you guys. If you have not tried Obey seasoning, go get it. It is a blend of a lot of different things, so you don't have to use salt with this, all right, because it has salt in it. But it does have other things that is a must for a salad that is not bland. So go check this out. You can get this out of your season um, section in your local food market. Obey is a must. You're going to need black pepper. Now, you can use fresh ground uh, black pepper. You can use any of that, but you are going to need black pepper. Another ingredient you're going to need is you're going to need sliced black olives and of course you're going to need mayo. Now you can use whatever brand you like but that's up to you. But these are the things that you're going to need for your salad. All right. You're going to go ahead and slice and dice up that, uh, that stalk of celery. And you want to dice it as fine as to your liking. I mean, if you like big chunks, then go ahead and do that. But if you like it, you want it fine so that everybody is not, you know, that doesn't like salary can't like taste big, huge chunks. I would stick with the finely diced. That way, again, if you have somebody that's eating it that doesn't eat salary, it's not going to be like a big, huge thing to them. All right. Now, the black olives are already sliced, so that's the great thing. So that's why I said buy the sliced ones, because it just saves you a little bit of time. 
You're going to need a mixing bowl and you're going to also need a mixing spoon. All right. After this recipe, I'm going to be making a fried eggplant sandwich, which is great for vegans and vegetarians out there. So be looking out for that video as well. Now we have our mixing bowl. You're going to add those chunks. That's fine. You're going to add those chunks. You're going to add those chunks to that bowl. All right. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> and we're going to break that up a little bit, you guys. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Because you don't want it humongous chunks like this. I mean, you don't want it to be chunks like... Let me show you guys. You don't want it to be chunks like that. <laughs> so you're just going to break that up. You can also use your, uh, your, uh, your cutting board, but that's up to you. I just simply just rough chop it. Wow, Daddy, these, these knives, these new knives are sharp as I don't know what. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll probably do a review on those uh, the new knife set that we splurged and got. And also tell you some tips on how to look for, what you look for in knife, knife sets and not just getting the ones that you see on sale or whatever, but looking for a certain quality and what features to look for as far as getting a quality knife set. So I'll do a video on that some other time for you guys, so be looking out for that as well. So. It's pretty much after we go ahead and chop this up, you guys, into chunks. It's pretty much, believe it or not, it's 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 all about assembly after that part. Seasoning and assembly. So it's not something that's going to take up much of your time. Uh, what I would recommend is if you're going to fix this for your own home or a cookout or whatever, to fix this a couple of hours ahead of time and then to sit it wrapped in saran wrap in the refrigerator and that just lets the seasonings and the mayo all incorporate and uh, soak in, marinate in, shall I say. And um, it just is a really great summary um, dish to fix. But again, you can fix this all year round. And you can also tweak it as far as it being um, locale because you can add um, a ratio of mayo, low fat mayo if you like, or fat free mayo, and add a little bit of Dijon um, because then that gives you, you know, you don't have to use as much mayo. Of course, Dijon is less mayo than, uh, I mean, less calories than mayo, so that'll be a way that you can treat, tweak it. You can also add some extra vegetables if you like, whatever kind you like. Now, um, you can add a little bit of onion to this, diced up small. Um, however, uh, as you all know, people that's been viewing me for a while, Daddy doesn't like onion. So, we're not going to go there with the onion. But I'm just giving you options of what you can do while I'm cutting this up. This is also great to have with some crackers on the side. Um, and you can also fix it on a roll, believe it or not. Or you can just eat it as a side dish, like on the side of, you know, hamburgers or... Uh, steak or whatever that you put on the grill. All right, so we're almost basically almost finished with the uh, now you can also buy um, the crab salad. It's called shredded, where it's already shredded like they're basically like I'm doing right now. You can also buy the chunks. Um, the chunk sometimes is a little bit uh, less chunky than what I opened up my package and had. And I did a recipe with this, you guys. This is my garlic bread I made from scratch. I did a recipe on this and showed you guys. It just came out of the oven. So... Yeah, if you want to see a recipe on how to make this delicious, from scratch, fresh garlic bread, yeah.
delish. Stay tuned for that video. So we're almost done with this, you guys. Thank you for bearing with me. It tastes fresh, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It has a slight little different taste to it, but it's a it's a good taste. That's because it's fresh. Imagine that with like your uh, lasagna or your stuffed shells, your vegetarian stuffed shells, I mean. <laughs> I let my daughter uh, always sit while I'm cooking and watch me because it's important for them to know how to fix these things and feed their own families in the future that they'll have on a budget. You know, no, no matter what income level you are, it's always wise, and in fact, it's, this is biblical, to be good stewards over your finances and your money. It frees up money for other things as well. Maybe you want to grow a business or start a business. Maybe you want to pay for your own schooling. You don't want to rely on just grants or uh, financial aid. It just gives you um, more opportunities in life when you are wise with your finances. So I want her to be able to, that way if she decides to go out of state, going to college, she'll be able to feed herself. And she doesn't have to rely on McDonald's to do so. She doesn't have to rely on Burger King and Taco Bell when they run this unhealthy special. She'll be able to feed herself and she'll be able to do so not with taking every inch of her check to do so. So as you're cooking, ladies, show your children how to do so and to do quick and easy meals. You know, it doesn't have to always be something difficult. This is not too difficult. The most is the cutting up this, which, like I said, you can avoid what I'm doing and buy it already flaked. But look at how many times a person can eat on this. And it only costs about eight bucks. So we've already done this, as you can see, and compare this again to how much you get at the deli which is usually bland as I don't know what to be honest quite frankly at the deli in your food market you would get a pound this is about three pounds for that eight dollars all right so now we've done the chopping all right so that's what it's going to look like once it's all chopped up into chunks what we're going to do now is we're going to add in I'm going to separate some of this because daddy is so funny acting, you guys. He really does not like salary, so I'm going to go ahead and be nice. And <laughs> separate a portion for him, and then I'll have the rest for the house. And if any guests come over and all that. All right, so I'm going to do his separately, and I'll do that off camera because it's going to be pretty bland as far as not the seasons, but he doesn't like the salary. He doesn't like the black olives. He just wants some seafood salad with some mayo and some seasoning. So I'm going to do his off camera. It's not that exciting. But I'm going to go ahead and do the bulk of it on camera. And that's going to have the other ingredients in it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and add in our stalk of celery that we've already diced up. We're going to also add in that whole can of black olives drained and if you're wanting to know the measurements of mayo we're going to add in about two cups of mayo for a three pound salad okay that's about one cup and that's about two cups so we're going to see how if we have to add more, but you probably won't have to, but we'll see. All right. And then we're going to add in Obey. Now, if you're wanting to know about the amount of Obey we're going to use, 
I would say that's probably about um that's probably about I would say about two teaspoons. And black pepper you're gonna add probably about I would say one teaspoon. And you're gonna mix that all together, you guys. Now again, we can add more of that mayo if you need it. And of course, you can add in a little bit of Dijon mayo, I mean um, mustard, or you can use spicy mustard to give it a little kick. That's up to you. But you want to incorporate everything together. We're going to add a little bit more mayo in a second. We just, I just want to make sure I cover it most of it so that I can see accurately how much mayo we have to use because you have to understand that once you put this in the refrigerator and let it sit it's going to soak in all right so because it's going to soak in it's going to draw in some of that mayo we're going to add probably about another half a cup quarter cup that's probably about a quarter cup um it's going to draw in that mayo so I would rather it be a little moist or a little bit moist than, moister than I would want it to be because once it draws in and after setting then it would be the consistency that I really wanted in the first place if you're following what I'm saying. And that's enough right there actually. That's enough mayo. But that's it you guys. Now you can add a little bit more um, Obey on the top. Make it look pretty and also to give it make sure that people get that Obey taste. But that is it, believe it or not. This is very easy. Very easy, and you've made about three pounds of seafood salad, literally, within minutes, and you only paid about eight bucks, and you have a big mixing bowl full. Also, another way to stretch this dish, you guys, is add some penny noodles. Yes, boil some penny noodles. Make sure you add a little bit of salt to the water. Boil them, put them underneath for the cold water, once they've all cooled down, make sure they're cooled down because you don't want to mix the hot noodles with this mayo. Once it's cooled down, add a little bit more Obey because you have to season the uh, penny noodles as well. But mix that, add a little bit more mayo, mix all of that together, and you have a wonderful pasta seafood salad. And if, once you add the pasta, this bowl will be totally full. This big, huge mixing bowl will be totally full. That's another way to stretch the dish. That's another way to bring something that's economical to a potluck, easy on your pockets, beautiful on the eyes, and wonderful on the taste buds. So on that note, you guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I thank you for viewing. I thank you for allowing me to share. And I thank you for finding value in that of which I do. Until next time, talk to you guys later, and be blessed.